what are the best types of people to have on your team? When forming a new team, it's important to get the mix of people right. Here are five types of people I look for when starting a new project. Number one, the gatekeeper. Think of the gatekeeper as the traffic cop of the group. This is the person on the team who keep the resources and the team moving forward. They ensure agendas, they manage meeting start and end times. Often, they help us get the right stuff done at the right times. A good, key, key, a good gatekeeper is neither bossy nor rude, but they are assertive. Number two, you need foot soldiers. All generals and no private would make a pretty poor army. It might seem obvious, but you need people who can get stuff done. This doesn't mean they have no skills. They're often the specialists in the task. Matching the right people to the right jobs is a skill that's needed and essential to making a team work. Number three, the note taker. If someone doesn't note or minute your meeting, then you may actually have no proof the meeting went on. Worse, you lose lots of good ideas and thoughts and comments people have made. But a good note taker can do more than just capture words, they capture the ideas. When you have a good note taker who takes accurate notes, you often need to ask for clarifications, they will at least. It can be in these clarifications that the real insights can be revealed to the team. Number four, the simplifier and communicator. We probably formed a team because we have a task to complete, and that task is probably pretty complex. Often the people you're doing this work for don't understand or in fact really care about how complex that project is. That means as the output gets clearer to being prov provided, it needs to be concise and easy to follow. Every team needs a good communicator who can take a message and explain it. Number five, the leader. A good leader is not someone who makes all the decisions and gets all the praise. Great leaders assemble great teams and give them a framework to be successful. That often means stepping aside and letting the specialists do their jobs. While leaders are essential, they are nothing without the rest of the team. Look, the bottom line here is this. Teams need to be made up of a lot of different types of people with lots of different types of skills. While we tend to look for the leader, they're not always the guarantee of success. The more diversity and the more skills we get on our team, the more successful that team will be.